Guys, here we are, back to chapter eight. Uh, this is case two. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the company name. There we go, computer's running slow today. Running really slow today. Case two, student's name. And save. All right, now that I got the company name done, click on done. Back to it, there we go, really slow. All right, so I'm one number one. It says, add an invoice on 13019 to customer Hagen's Toys, term net 30 for 100 hours of custom painting. So I'm gonna add an invoice, I'm gonna go to the create invoice. No thanks. Customer name is Hagen's Toys, right? Terms is net 30. Invoice date is 1.30 of 19, 1.30.19, and 100 hours of custom painting. Project service it is custom painting, quantity is 100. Once that's all done, I click save, I'm good to go. Number two says add a service on 131.19 for a new customer, Zach's RC. Invoice. So I'm going to go to create invoice. When I click on the drop down customer list, I'm going to click add new. And it's going to be C A C H Prosper S R C. Save. Terms net 30. Invoice date is 1 31 of 2019. 2019 because it's the second case. And two Sea Wind Carbon Sailboats and two Mystique RES. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to the sailboat. Sea Wind Carbon Sailboat. And there's two of those. And then I'm going to go to the Mystique RES. And there's going to be two of those. All right. Two of each of those. And I'm going to hit save. Should be good to go there. Number three says add the following. Fiscal year 2019, monthly budgeted amounts like you did in the chapter, sales is 10,000. So I'm going to look for the 2019 to December 2019 budget. So I'm going to exit out of this, go to my gears, go to budgeting. Here's my first budget. This is for January 2018 to December. So to do a new budget, I'm going to click Add Budget. And I'm going to call it, mm -mm, use budget one as the budget name. I'm not going to use budget one because I already used budget one. I'm going to use a budget two. Makes sense to me. And fiscal year is not 2018. It's going to be fiscal year 2019. Monthly interval, no prefill. Do not subdivide. Looks good to me. So let's go to next and start putting in some data. All right, so for sales, it's gonna be $10,000 a month. So I need to go to sales, 10,000 a month. Services is 4,000, service, 4,000. Click that little blue. Um, button right here to copy it across all the rows or all the columns I should say $4,000 cost of goods sold $5,000 so if I go to cost of goods sold 5,000 hit the little blue dot advertising 500 advertising 500 insurance 425 
interest expense 300 meals and entertainment 250 payroll 9000 Payroll expense, one, two, three. Which one are we going to use? It's case two, so let's use case two. 9,000. Amount provided should be input for each month of 2019. Use budget one as the budget name. Create a customized save as a budget overview, budget one. Print and export to Excel, yada, yada, yada. All right, so let's save this. So now we have our budget. We can exit out. We have our budget too. All right, so number four says create and customize, save customization as budget overview, budget one. So we're not gonna save this because we're not submitting it. We're submitting the transaction uh, detail by account and the trial balance. So we're not gonna save that. Number five says create a custom, customize, create and customize, Customization as budget versus actual budget one. Print and export to Excel as budget versus actual report for the month. So now that we have this budget, you can go to reports and then you're gonna be able to find budget reports. And I believe it's under management reports. Nope. Standard reports, budget versus actual right here in a business overview. You're gonna click on that and it's going to show 2019 because that's what we're looking at and this is actual versus budget actual versus budget all the way across for each month now if you wanted to adjust anything or customize it you would customize it here for example maybe you just want to look at one month you could customize it there um, customize it without sense you could uh, look at negatives in red columns and rows, accounts versus month, just look at account totals, and let's run that report. And this is just our total for the entire year, right? This is actual right now versus budget for the year. Just different ways of looking at it. You can customize that report um, any way you want to. Accounts versus month, run report, it's going to look a whole lot different. Right? These are all in red, meaning that we're um, under budget for all those because we don't have any actual data there yet. Number six says open the, the and print the custom report you created last chapter called transaction detail by account. Um, export your trial balance, all this stuff. After review, the company's most recent bank statement. A comparison with the company's checking account. You discover some checks and payments recorded in the checking account that did not appear. So we're going to reconcile. That's the next step. I mean, we got we got to pull off reports to do our submission, but we're going to reconcile. Now, reconciling does not affect the reports that we print off. Just so you guys understand that. So we're going to go to this gear. We're going to go to reconcile. We're going to select checking account two. We did checking account one last time, and it says that the ending balance for one thirty one nineteen is going to be three thirty thousand six nine three and forty seven cents. Ending is one thirty one nineteen. All right, ending one thirty one nineteen three year thirty thousand six hundred ninety three and forty seven cents. Let's see if there's any service charges. After review, the company's most recent bank statement and a comparison with the company's checking account, you discover some checks and payments recorded in the checking account that did not appear on the bank statement. Please check next to all the checks and payment except for after comparison, check number. So we have no service charges yet. So we're gonna start reconciling. So I'm gonna to go to payments first because it told me to payments. Place a check next to all checks and payments except for check number 1009 to Frank Benjamin for 2359. Frank Benjamin 2359, that's not that one. 2359 50. Now I think this is where I made a mistake. I have 
2360. I increased it by uh, by uh, 50 cents. So I'm off on this one technically by 50 cents. So we'll see how that really affects us. This check 1000, 1009 is the one that is telling me that I should uh, I, I should not use. But this one and, and this one are exactly the same. This one is probably the one that should be in with check 1009. So I'm not going to check this one, but I'm going to check all the other ones. Sorry, just checking off these so we can see what we're doing. All right. And then, so that's the one side of the transaction. Now I need to go to deposits. And after reviewing the company's most recent bank statement and a comparison with the company's checking account, you discover a deposit and other credits recorded in the checking account that did not appear on the bank statement. Place a check next to all deposits under the credits except for the deposit on 1-7 for $4,500. So that's the first one. It means I can do these two. So I'm off $973.79. That sounds like a check to me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So as you can see, this might be something that you guys ran into where you guys could not reconcile. You're off some money. Now some of this could be taxes. And actually for this second case, it shouldn't be taxes. It should only be taxes on the third case that you'd be off. Um, but it looks like I'm missing a transaction. So I'm going to go to payments. 973. There's nothing here. 973 right here. For this Sarah. Now if I take that off, I sh I'm only off 50 cents, which is the amount that I should be off because I did the wrong transaction. So now i got to figure out why this Sarah Sue's is at 131.19. Did I do something wrong? Let's find out. This is case two from chapter seven. So I'm gonna go to chapter seven, case two, Sarah Cruz. Sarah Cruz. She should have two. Looks like she has two. Sarah Cruz and Sarah Cruz. She only has two. But that does not tell me. Oh, you're right. Uh, there's two of them I shouldn't have clicked on, and that was Sarah Cruz for 973.29. So number nine on page 153 says that I should not put a check mark beside the 2359.50 for Frank or for Sarah, both for the date 131. So that means I'm going to change this and mark this one. Now I'm off 50 cents, and I'm off 50 cents because this transaction right here is wrong. This one and this one. So both of these checks that I did are off at 50 cents. It should be 23.59.50. Uh, so before I reconcile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and fix that. And I'm gonna go back and fix it by going to my check account, my checking account for case two. Got my checking account for case two. I'm gonna look at my recent checks. I'm gonna go find the Sarah Cruz, that one's right, this Frank Benjamin, right here they are, both of them, the 16th and the 9th, and the 31st. Do I want to leave without saving? Yes. And this is where I'm off. I'm off 50 cents. So the question is where I'm off. So let me go back to chapter 7. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 7, case 2. And it looks like my employer taxes is 229.50. I have 229.50 there, 640.50, and I just have 640. That's where I'm off for both of these. So this should be 640 and 50 cents. That just adjusted my 50 cents off. I'm going to save a new, update this one only. Right, but I'm going to go back to this other Frank. That's also off. And I'm going to change this. 50. Save a new. One time only. I'm going to exit out of there. I go back here to my reconcile. And I'm perfect. There's no difference. These both updated. 
to be decreased by 50 cents because I increased the expense on the check and I'm good to reconcile. So I'm going to click finish now and it's going to reconcile. I can view the report or I can just click done. I'm going to click done because we're not going to print these reports off. All right, so that's my second reconcile. Now what we need to do is we need to prepare for um, to turn your, turn your things in. I'm going to go to my reports, custom report, uh, trial balance case two, change this name to case two and export, export to PDF, save PDF and just saved it. I'm going to go to my report list, transaction detail by account for case two, change the name to case two and export to PDF, save as PDF. All right, so both of those saved. This is the totals that you should have for the transaction detail by account for case two, chapter eight. Pause it and look at it if you ever need to uh, look at it in closer detail. But those are the balances that you should have for everything. All right, now we're going to look at the trial balance. This is the trial balance. 194469 and 22 cents. That's what you should have. All right, guys, that finishes up case two of eight. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Until then, have a good one.